So you finally splurged and bought that nice touchscreen thermostat you always dreamt about. Now this thing is sick. It's gonna enhance your home and it's gonna be a centerpiece for everyone that comes over and uses that hall bathroom where it's located. But there's just one thing, you don't know how to put it in. Well, follow me along and I'm gonna show you the steps on how to do it. The first thing I need you to do is stop. You need to go over to that existing thermostat and take a picture of the base plate. Those colored wires need to match up to those letters on your new thermostat so your existing equipment will operate correctly. The next step is crucial. You have to turn off the power to the indoor unit, whether it's a light switch on the gas furnace or a big breaker on the air handler. This will prevent you from touching the R power to the C ground and shorting out a fuse or worse, blowing a transformer. Now the first thing you need to do is mount your new base plate. Center the opening over the existing wires so you can easily push them back and forth to work on. Take your existing wires and separate them. The easiest thing to do is to start from the top and work your way down. The first ones I'm going to tackle is my common and my white, my heat. I'm going to take my wire, I'm going to bend it over, 90, slide it into the terminal. Take your little thermostat screwdriver. Your new thermostat might have come with them. I know the nest do. If not, you're gonna need something about this size to tighten down this screw. Next, you're gonna do it for the W, the R, the G, and the Y. Now that you have all your wires inside of your terminals and they're all tightened down, this is a perfect time to check back on that picture you took and make sure that all of the wires are matching the letters themselves. If all these colors match up, put your thermostat onto the base and move on to the next step. This is the time that you're gonna power your equipment back up and start to go through the cycle of programming. Now if you have a Y1 and a Y2, that means you have a two-stage system and you need to verify that on the thermostat. If you have a W1 and a W2, you have a two-stage heating system and you need to verify that. Depending on where you live, the reversing valve on a heat pump will either be powered on for cool or powered on for heat. If you turn it to cool and it starts pumping out heat, you might just need to change over your reversing valve settings just to get it to work correctly. Next up is pretty much just hooking the Wi-Fi, setting the app up on your phone, and enjoying your new thermostat. And if you've ever had a problem with a drain line, then click this video right here and I can explain how to fix that too.